This video contains some features that's not a part of the Enhanced Basic Education Program and intended for educational purposes only. The views and opinion expressed by the presenter do not necessarily state or reflect those of the company and its management. Furthermore, the theme, the concept, and approaches expressed by the presenter do not reflect those authority from the Department of Education, the video, the management, and the network. Technology alter everyone's way of life, so in order to prepare young generation in the fast-changing world, we as a teacher need to enhance our teaching strategies in building students' futures. In a traditional way of teaching, students didn't learn to the fullest. This is because teachers are just discussing the lesson in front of the students with the textbook, simply memorizing the lesson, writing notes, regurgitating the information, or simply called teacher-centered. In the 21st century, here comes the student-centered learning. It shifts the focus of activity from the teachers to the learners. These methods include active learning, wherein learners engage themselves, or the discussion cooperative learning, in which learners work as a team, inductive teaching, and learning by means of giving the learners challenges <laughs> like problem solving and in and inquiry learning. Here in K-12 program or enhanced education program, the teachers create some teaching techniques or strategies that has not been introduced or unusual to the students to cope with the learning target. The K-12 offer some tracks that the learners will choose the correct path that they want to get into. Also, in K-12, the learners will be equipped with the different skills such as academic, tech book, and sports and arts. For the student to achieve this particular kind of competencies, we formulated and suggested an approach which in the first place has a negative notion to the students like online games. But nowadays, a negative thing can be converted or useful for learning process on an individual like Ragnarok online game. Characters like a novice from level 1 to 10 are freelance, first job level 11 to 50 can compose magician, acolyte, archer, thief, merchant and swordsman, and a second job level 51 to 100, wizard, priest, hunter, assassin, and blacksmith. There is a certain quest to accomplish to survive in this game. While the setting is divided into a series of maps on two major continents, each of which has its own terrain and native monsters. Too many monsters are present in multiple regions. Transformation between maps require loading the new map and monsters are unable to travel from one map to another unless directly associated with the players such as pet, mount, or hireling. Relating to this, we altered the game plan of Ragnarok in an educational way. Novice is equal to kinder who should know the basic concept of education like alphabet, numbers, color, and shape through the use of dancing, singing, games, and mother tongue. Next is the first job. We indicated the first job is, for example, is magician is equal to science since his skill are related to four elements, fire, water, wind, and earth, but is delivered in spiral progression from grade one to three are observation, measurement, classification, quantification, inferring, predicting, relationship, and communication. From grade 4 and above, interpreting data, controlling variables, operational definition, and hypothesizing.
Example, a question task that can give to the student from grade 1 to grade 3 and simple way to make fire by giving them a quest to find two stones and dry leaves while in grade 4 to 10 you can give them a quest to find magnifying glass a high-tech gadget and dry leaves then let them know by themselves how to make fire in those tools to insert experimental learning to this game as you can see in the illustration while in the other job first job like merchant you can give example based in their profession mathematics for accolade values education and for the other jobs you can experiment the subject to teach to the students while the learner focus in the game but unconsciously they learn in this informal way in this other way of teaching based on their interest they can master the basic competencies and develop to the fullest with regards to number three envision of k-12 programs which are filipino graduates are more emotionally developed and individuals are competent to live a meaningful life we suggested that the teachers particularly in asp or education sa pagpapakatao should modify or add some strategic methods and approaches in delivering their lessons effectively to achieve this kind of goal. In a traditional way of teaching, in this specific subject, the ESP teachers are just explaining the basic concept of morality, like on how to become loyal, honest, polite, etc., without giving prior attention if it is applied by the students and outside the world. But in this new curriculum design, the teachers should think more intense approaches to enhance their basic way of teaching to improve and uplift the morale of an individual. Relating to this, we draw on the teaching approach that the ESP teachers can employ or apply delivering their lessons. We call it BGI approach or bad and good influence approach. This approach will help the teachers in creating designs in a meaningful way realistic and attainable even though it somehow trigger the emotion of the students because this is more on directing or pinpointing the different problems they are encountered or encountering in their daily life but respect is emphasized using this specific approach teachers can strategize their lesson by using different paraphernalia which is harmful to individuals and are known for using in an evil way or manner like brass knuckles, guns, ice pick, illegal drugs, etc. Through this strategic method of teaching, the teachers specifically education sa pagpapakatao, teachers will introduce the different harmful things to the students by bringing all that stuff that usually used by insane people to fix some issues and problems that they undergo or encounter. Also, the educators ask the students to describe and explain the negative and somewhat positive result if the persons resorted to utilize that such mentioned things. In bad and good influence approach, educators additionally discuss and give emphasis on the pros and cons of that things. He or also use robots that will serve as a reactor to the different stuff cited, which will be viewed by the students. Through that method, the students will realize the essence of life that they not just resorted to that harmful stuff to fix their problem and lessen the burden in their life. Instead of showing pictures in this lesson design, the students can be more aware, open to the different effects of that stuff that will affect one's life and the lesson can be more effective if they can see it in real. Each individual is part of a larger community. Community plays a vital role in our society. That is why K-12 wants the learners to be more productive and socially aware that is actually happening in our environment. 
So we suggested a strategic teaching approach that will help the learners to be emotionally aware, proactive, and involved in public and civic affairs and contribute to the development of a progressive, just, and humane society. The SpongeBob approach will provide a community environment inside the classroom. This will develop the learners' unique identities and the students will learn the various kinds of jobs and opportunities that require the gifts, skills, and knowledge that only they possess. Here are the strategies. The teacher will instruct the student to create their own ideas on how to handle things and how they can contribute to the community. For us to be able to do this, the student should be grouped according to their interest and prepared roles in the community. They will be grouped based on the skills they possess. After grouping, they will be stationed in the different areas like marketplace, church, school, police department, barangay hall. To act their respective roles as if they are in the real community. The teacher will facilitate and observe the student and they will be based on how well, how right, and how realistic their roles are. They will be graded based on their performance output. If the student can cop up or cannot perform well in the given scenario, this will be the time that the teacher will intervene and ask the student why they cannot carry out fully their roles. As time passes by, people are evolved, mature to prepare for their future. As a K-12 teacher, we suggested some strategic way of imparting to the learners that will cope their prospective life. This is called Kabuhayan Swak na Swak approach. The teacher will guide the students to choose the field that they can excel. The learners can pursue their skills and sell it through the internet. This approach can challenge and trigger students' creativity, the ability to enhance their entrepreneurial in order for them to succeed in the future. In this Kabuhayan Swak na Swak approach, the teacher will ask the students to make an online shop in line with their interests and expertise in which they will upload their own products and vendor services over the internet. Online consumers can have the access to view the products and services that they can buy and avail. Through this, the student will discover and learn how to be more competitive and the creativity will be enhanced. Sa kabuhayan swak na swak approach, Ang isang guro ay lilikha ng isang dummy online shop website kung saan ang mga mag-aaral ay kailangan gumawa ng sariling online stores. Gamit ang mga modernong teknolohiya, bawat mag-aaral ay hahayaang magdesenyo, gumawa ng sari-sariling pamamaraan upang ipost at ibenta ang mga produkto at serbisyong likha ng mga mag-aaral. Malilinang dito, hindi lang ang angking galing ng isang mag-aaral. Sa pagpapalawak ng kanyang imahinasyon upang mapaganda ang kanyang tindahan, pati na rin ang galing sa pagpapasya at pagunlad ng kanyang kakayahan. Para magawa ito, kinakailangan gumawa ang mag-aaral ng plano para ipakita ang kanyang iba-ibang produkto at serbisyo na ibebenta online. Dahil dito, mahasa ang kanilang galing sa pagbebenta sa pamamagitan ng malikaing paghikayat sa mga naka-online na mamimili sa nasabing website. Sa challenge na ito, ang mga mag-aaral ay magpaparamihan ng benta. In enhanced basic education curriculum, or also known as K-12 program, they envision that every human being must be globally employable and globally competitive, which is why they created some specializations or tracks that will guide a person in the career path that they wanted to get into in the future. Since we established the first four envisioned of K-12 programs, which Filipino graduates are possessed sufficient mastery of basic competencies, emotionally developed, 
socially aware and prepared for world of work, of entrepreneurship, or higher education, automatically they are legally employable and globally competitive. But for this, to be more realized, it needs an extra effort from the educators to upgrade the different skills of the students, not just the basic skills, but also knowledge in some aspects relating to work abroad. As to address this, we develop an approach that has a huge help if the educators integrating this in rendering their lesson. This is called anti-T and T approach. In this approach, the teachers can inject some topics relating to their legalities and terms in work abroad and appropriate procedures in applying to a specific country to avoid illegal matter. To execute this approach, the teachers can convert the classroom setup to different government agencies that has a part to the legal matter in applying abroad. Through this lesson design, the learners are equipped with knowledge and cognizance to avoid violating rules. It is more helpful if this lesson will be introduced as early as grade 12. Enlightenment regarding this matter prevent goals, dreams, and good future be wasted. Memorization Do you teach or do you educate?